folks, Scott here with the Love From Lizzie Special Edition O oh Baby Kit. Now, I got this kit because this is a decoupage kit. Now, the English version of decoupage is different from the American version of decoupage, which is all about gluing. And the English version of decoupage is all about layering. So let's see what comes in the O oh Baby Kit. First, we have our card stocks. So this is A4 card stock. This is European card stock. It's 8.3 inches by 11.7. So it's a little bit longer than American card stock, a little bit narrower. The four pieces we get are mirror. We get a silver pearlescent. Oh, we get five. Oh, there's five here. <laughs> a white pearlescent a soft pink pearlescent, and a mint green pearlescent. Those are our card stocks with the O oh Baby kit. We also get two half sheets of A4 card stock in soft orange and like a magnolia, kind of a soft yellow. I think Lizzie calls that magnolia. These colors match perfectly with most everything in this kit. What I really liked about this kit was that there was so much pattern paper. 16 pages of 8x8 eight eight pattern paper and 16 pages of 6x6 six six pattern paper. These are both the same pattern. There are some specialty papers in here. There are some double-sided papers in here. As you can see, this first pattern is balloons on a nice blue cloud background. These are spot gloss, both of them. Nothing on the back. And we have little baby, little footprints that are spot gloss also. Very cute. And then this soft pink with hearts. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see the hearts. These are actually little glitter hearts on this cardstock. More glitter cardstock here. This is a nice confetti, polka dot type of confetti. This is all glitter as well. And then these two tag sheets, tag and label sheets, all glittered. These are not die cut, but they are cut apartable. Great colors. I really like the colors in this kit. It's not just pink and blue. Then we have some plain pattern paper in the same two sizes. Nothing on the back. Elephants and little pull toys. We have this nice yellow text paper that says baby and love and baby steps and so much love kind of soft orange with that one. And then this almost a cross stitch pattern in those great colors, the soft blues and purples and reds and yellows. Okay, the next eight are double sided. So we've got a purple background with colorful butterflies. On the back of that is a great striped paper. We get banners on more of that kind of a stripey orange background and the soft orange plain on the back of that, colorful stars on a pink background, and pinstripes on a pink background. <laughs> balloons, all sorts of balloons, great colors of balloons. You can see on this especially, the patterns on the 8x8 are a little bit larger than the patterns on the 6x6, so that gives you some variety there. This is a great purple kind of chevron stripe, nice teal background with stars on the back of that. A teal checkerboard. Some lovely little flower groups. It's like purple, green, and yellow flowers on a little dotted Swiss background. Purple dots on the back of that. Rocking horses on that orange background. And the back of that, a nice diamond quilt-like pattern. And then great elephants on a dotted white background. You get the sky with the darker clouds on the back of that. This is 32 pattern papers. <laughs> what I like about these pattern papers is that they're not all baby oriented. I love the little footprints and the stuff that is baby oriented, but they're not all. This has nothing to do with the baby right here, let me tell you. But the real fun part and why I got this kit is the decoupage sheets. We get eight decoupage sheets. Now they consist of, these are all die cuts, so they all pop out very easy. These are all die cuts and they come with numbers on them. So this is one, so this is layer one, 
two would be your second layer on top of one. Then you would put the pieces that are labeled three on top of that. Then there's four. And then they usually have some sentiments too. So this kind of creates a card all by itself, multi-dimensional, put little foam pieces between everything. I haven't ever done one of these before, which is why I got this. And I think I'll have a good time with it. So we have this lovely baby pattern. We have this special delivery featuring a balloon decoupage. Here's balloons, with the bundle of joy. All of these are all glittery too. Tons of glitter on all of these decoupage sheets. Flowers with a big congratulations. That doesn't have to be baby oriented by any means. This is a sweet rocking horse. I really like the rocking horse. A teddy bear, of course. You gotta have a teddy bear. So much love is the sentiment here. One, two, three, four, five, six different layers to this teddy bear. Goodness. And here's those great elephants. This is really large to see if it actually fits on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch A2 card. <laughs> this is great. I love this. Hey, baby. Oh, great fun. This is a nice star shape. Very cute. I'm really looking forward to working with these deco pause sheets. That's not all, though, folks. We still have four sticker sheets. These are all glittered as well. We get this with baby and a lot of the images. This with more images, everything's got a little bit of glitter on it. That's two. This is a whole alphabet with extra numbers. Lots of options here, letters and numbers. And here's tags and sentiments. Congratulations, love, bundle of joy. And then the final terrific part of this kit is a complete alphabet die set. These are really nice dies. I like them. They're serifed. They're small. This is a great alphabet die set. It also has an ampersand, I believe. There it is. There's the ampersand. So a full alphabet with the ampersand and a little scalloped banner that, of course, the letters and everything fit inside of that banner. These dies are terrific. These are like a half inch tall, so they're really nicely sized for working with cards, especially A2 cards. A complete alphabet die set with a scallop banner. That's everything that comes in the O oh Baby kit from Love From Lizzie. Let's put some of this together and see what we can come up with. Now, I did go ahead and make the executive decision to cut down the colored card stocks, those shimmer card stocks. Cut them down to 11 inches, so I have this extra strip of each left over and I did make card bases with them. So I've got eight card bases here in the gray, white, pink, and mint. I have not quite decided what to do with these two half sheets of A4 color cardstock. These match the colors in the kit so perfectly. You can see this orange goes right with this orange pattern paper with this decoupage. So I did make a couple of white card bases from my stash. Those could be my 10 card bases. I still might use the other colored half sheets as card bases. I haven't quite decided yet, but I figured that since I've never done the uh, decoupage kit before, that you might enjoy going through this first experiment or first try out with me. So I thought we'd do the rocking horse today. Let's punch it all out. So that's one, two, three, four layers. These are extras the extra frame around the outside. I kind of like having some dimension on the frame around this. I think that will look nice. And there are the little button corners. We'll decide whether to use those in a bit, but this would be an added outside frame. Now I'm going to work with, these are some of my favorite really thin foam pieces, foam dots. These are the EK Tools 3D dots is what they're called. They come with two sheets of large and small 1 16th inch foam dots. It's right there, 1 16th inch. Now one of the things I really like about these two is that they have these thin lines around the edges. This is a very thin line on the bottom here. 
that are great to use for little bitty tiny spots that you need to cover. So let's try putting this little decoupage piece together. Let's go ahead and start with the frame and save the horse for the last. These little squares will fit in the corners nicely. So I've got the frame covered with lots of little foam dots. There we go, that was a little fiddly, but that's a nice dimensional frame around our rocking horse. Let's go to something easier. Let's try our rocking horse next layer on this. And this guy's ready to decoupage up. There you go, there's our glittery horsey on top of the background horsey. Let's go to the horse without the rocker. And this is layer three. Because the foam dots are so thin, they're really very easy to line up. I have to admit, it's cute. This is layer four, the saddle and the two legs. And look at that, isn't that cute? There is one, two, three, four layers to that. I think I should go ahead and add these little dots on the edge of the frame. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> okay, these are a little bit fiddly. It's almost a no-brainer, though. You hardly have to think about this. Everything just stacks up on each other perfectly. If you have some thin foam tape, it's perfect. This is not very thick at all. I think that is really adorable. I love all that dimension there. The glitter, of course, is terrific. Now the sentiment on this decoupage sheet is, welcome baby. I kind of like that. I kind of like the red. The orange is great. I'm not sure what card base to put it on. It feels like it kind of gets lost there. I'm dying to use it along with this rocking horse pattern paper. But again, it seems a little bit lost there. What happens if we, hmm, put a mat behind it? I think it certainly works. It certainly goes with the little mint or teal and white stripes in the back. Let's try that in black. That's what it needs. I don't need to add any more dimension, so let's just add a little black mat to the back of this piece. That's nice. Gives just that little thin black line around it. Let's do three and three quarters of this pattern paper. It looks really nice. I kind of like that. I like this on the mint shimmer paper. Let's go ahead and attach that. Now, I certainly don't want to add that with any foam tape on top of it because we've certainly got enough dimension working as it is. I don't know. I, it's interesting. I think that is so cute. It would actually look really nice in a frame in a baby's room. <laughs> I think I might want to put the welcome baby on the inside and not put any sentiment on the front. It's rare that I don't put a sentiment on the front of a card. I could add it to the bottom. I could add it across the top here. Hmm. So I think that's what I'll do is add a writing surface on the inside since this is one of the shimmer cardstock sheets. And then I think I will use this red one. Actually, would the orange go better on the inside? I kind of like that baby banner and it's the right color take a little powder to the back of that and we'll foam tape that up on the front there we go i like using that baby sticker on the front and i think i'm gonna go with the red and let's just attach it directly to the writing surface on the inside welcome baby there we go i like all the glitter i like that the little baby banner here is glittery that was quite interesting and very fun now I did add a little black mat to make that pop on the front there and a white writing surface on the inside but other than that this is all from the card kit 
I really like that dimension. That decoupage is really interesting. Like I said, this could be framed and put in a baby's room. I think that is really adorable. I may go ahead and make eight cards <laughs> using these decoupage sheets because I think they're so interesting and I've never played with them before. I like this a lot. This is my first decoupage sheet from the Oh Baby kit from Love From Lizzie. It's on that soft pink glimmer card base, I went with the elephants. Now, I trimmed down this elephant piece, the main piece from the decoupage sheet, so that it fit on a card base with a little bit of the card base showing around it. I decoupaged up all of the elephants, and then I went to the sticker sheet and those little children's block alphabet. Happy birthday. Put those all together and mounted them on little bitty black mats. Give a little pop to that. And we've got a happy birthday card. On the inside of this, I use that extra polka dot glitter paper that I cut off of the sides of the decoupage sheet and just use that to trim my writing surface on the inside of the card. This is the elephant decoupage sheet. That's a happy birthday card. Obviously a little youth oriented, but <laughs> not not a baby card. I had to do it. I took that soft orange half sheet and made a card base with it for the balloon decoupage. I added some of that balloon spot gloss pattern paper behind that to cover up the whole card base. Decoupaged on top of that. That's really nice. These little bitty hearts very fiddly, but boy, when they're there, they look so nice. Special delivery. This is a new baby card. Lots of glitter. And on the inside, we've got that congratulations sticker and the bundle of joy. This was one of the sentiments from the balloons decoupage sheet. Just a little brad from my stash to highlight that. I like that a lot. It's really pretty. <laughs> I think these decoupage sheets are great. So now we go to the white shimmer card base and the baby decoupage sheet. I took all of the blocks from the base of the decoupage sheet and cut them all apart and rearranged them. I like this arrangement better than the original one. I think the decoupage sheet had it on a portrait style with an empty block over here. I really like this. Baby is the whole sentiment on the front. All of the decoupage on all of the pieces. I did put little black mats behind all of the squares. It really makes these colors pop. I use that pattern paper of the pull toys on the background there. It's perfect. And I did break out some Love From Lizzie pink peel-offs to line the edges of that pattern paper. I really like this card. Those little pull toys are so cute in their dimensions there. And of course, on the inside, we've got the hello little one sentiment. Popped up on a little foam tape. Really nice. So back to that mint shimmer card base. And this is the flower decoupage sheet. Now I cut this to smithereens, only left the decorative edges on the sides so that I could fit it sideways. I was dying to use that alphabet die and I cut this thank you out of the silver mirror cardstock from the kit. Added a couple of strips to the sides of that decoupage sheet. I of course decoupaged up all of the flowers Great dimension on those flowers. They really pop nicely. I love this thank you card. Those dies are just stunning. And the inside of the A and the inside of the O, these are like stencils, so you don't lose those. You could cut these directly out of paper and use the negative space instead of the positive here. But I think the positive works really nice in that silver foil. A lovely thank you card, nothing to do with babies. And on the inside, writing surface and some of the glittery flower stickers down in the corner. Put a little something inside all of these cards since we had so many stickers and things. <laughs> yes, since I used the soft orange, I went with the Magnolia half sheet and turned that into a card base as well. 
This is the balloon decoupage sheet. This is kind of amazing. Those balloons, there you go. You can see the dimension on that. <laughs> Just amazing. I did take a Lawn Fawn Happy Birthday to You border die and cut the Happy Birthday out of the purple dotted pattern paper. Covered that with a little bit of my Spectrum Noir sparkle marker so that it glittered up like the rest of this. What a fun birthday card. On the inside, balloon stickers going up ended with a heart. No writing surface needed on this since this is such a, a pale cardstock. Happy birthday. That's two birthday cards and a thank you card. <laughs> okay, we got that soft pink shimmer card base. The teddy bear. Now the teddy bear had six layers to the decoupage sheet, so I decided to split them up. And this decoupage sheet consists of layers one, three, and five. And then I took the other pieces of the decoupage sheet and made a second card with them. So this contains the pieces two, four, and six on this card still plenty of dimension on both of those cards and double your money. Some of these cards have so many layers you can easily get two cards out of them. With this card I put everything on that yellow text paper with baby, left a border of the cardstock showing through. This says so much love. That was the sentiment from this decoupage sheet. Inside a little bear sticker and another hello little one from the sticker sheet on the writing surface. On this other one, the bundle of joy was the second tag sentiment from the balloon decoupage sheet. Put one of my brads in that, foam tape that up, bundle of joy. On the inside of this, we get that balloon sticker holding up a hey baby sticker on the inside. It's all this sparkle, I don't even have to think about using a sequin anywhere on these cards. <laughs> That's eight. And I have one more decoupage sheet to go. This is my favorite. Here we have a shaped card. Now I actually made the star a shaped card. This is the Hey Baby decoupage. I cut a little bit larger mat in black to pop that up. And then I cut my card base out of that banner pattern paper and some white card stock of my own. Cut each of those just successively a little bit bigger. So we've got like three little mats underneath that first piece of the decoupage. Nice pop. I like the black on that. This decoupage on this is really pretty intricate as well. I love the banners up on some foam. Really cute. This was a little fiddly. These are tiny, tiny pieces, but hey, baby. And you open it up, got that sticker banner, and congratulations on the inside. This is a fun, fun card. I really like it. Of course, it will stand up on its own. I just cut both of the card bases, scored the top tip of the back one, and attached them together with score tape. Nice, strong tape. I really like this card a lot. Card number 10, we get back to the uh, silver pearlescent card base. I haven't played with that banner die yet, so I was interested in playing with the banner die. So this is what we came up with. A new baby card. Using the banner die, cut these seven banners. Use the alphabet die to cut the silver mirror paper into letters. New baby. These are my brads from my stash. I believe they're some oriental trading, like colorful mini brads or something. I have tons of them. I've had them for a long time. A little bit of my own purple and white baker's twine to tie off the ends on the top. The bottom one goes completely across the whole card. New baby, I put that on the little footprint pattern paper. Really loved that pattern paper. Loved the color of that. And I couldn't leave you guys without at least one little pun for this kit. So we have new baby, spit happens. <laughs>
a terrific pun. You can take that in so many different ways. I did add a little glitter heart in purple right underneath that. This, of course, is done with my favorite Brady Bunch remastered font. Just printed that on the writing surface. My new baby card. And spit happens. <laughs> I think these are just a gorgeous bunch of cards. I have so much pattern paper left over. I am kind of thrilled I didn't even touch the 8x8 pattern paper. Now what's interesting is you can actually make an A2 envelope from 8x8 inch pattern paper. So I might, I do know some people who are getting ready to have kids, or at least trying to have kids, I may actually make matching envelopes with these larger 8x8 sheets. But a ton of pattern paper left, a good amount of the stickers, although I used a lot of stickers, I used virtually everything on all of the decoupage sheets. I do still have a big sheet of that mirror card stock left. That'll go in my stash. And of course, that marvelous alphabet die kit with the banner. This will find a loving home amongst my dies. That's my 10 cards for the Love From Lizzie Special Edition O oh Baby Kit. I hope you like these. I had actually a great time. What's really interesting about these decoupage kits is that you can create some beautiful cards with scissors and some glue, maybe a paper cutter, and some foam tape. That's it. You don't need any ink. You don't need any ink pads. You don't need any stamps. They practically make themselves. And as you can see, I got nine cards out of the decoupage sheets just by dividing one up. And many of these could have been divided into two cards instead of just one. I really enjoyed this probably more than I thought I would. <laughs> I do know that this kit is still available at lovefromlizzie.com. If you'd like to go grab one of these for yourself, please use my link up in the description. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. I hope you enjoyed these cards. If you did, please like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. Don't run with scissors. <laughs> and happy crafting folks. If you'd like more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com.